Happy Friday, everyone. Hope you all have had a good week. Wanted to go live today with my five on Friday, and hopefully something I say will help to encourage you. So anyways, it is a nice fall day here. A um, little bit cloudy. Um, cool. Definitely cooled off. Um, we're down in the 70s today, which actually feels kind of good. Um, still got some flowers going. Uh, Cosmos. Sunflowers are gone. Burnt out. Still got some zinnias. Um, this one over here is definitely still thriving, which is amazing for October 11th. Um, look at those white cosmos over there. They are, these guys over here, these cosmos are just beautiful. Look at those white ones. We got bees <laughs> pollinating. But uh, look at the tree from last week. Hang on one sec. Let me go backwards. <laughs> Um, it's starting to change. Um, if you guys saw the um, tree last week, it hadn't changed up, but it's starting to, so definitely in fall. Um, hey Kim, hope everything's good in Florida where you're at. Been uh, praying for y'all. Um, anyways, so that is what's going on in the garden. Still going strong. Well, not strong, but still going. So <laughs> at least that's good. Um, moving on to my mom. Uh, it's been an interesting week. Uh, Tuesday was her birthday. She turned 80. Uh, that was a huge uh, miracle, a uh, blessing. I did a, a video reel for that. Hope you, can, you guys have seen it. Um, but on Monday, uh, before I before her birth, the Monday before her birthday on Tuesday, I got a scare. I got a call. Actually, I didn't call, get a call. I called to check on her through the Echo, and it was quiet. The TV wasn't on, and she answered me. Um, I knew something was wrong, and I asked her. Um, she said she'd been sleeping. I asked her where she was. She said she was in bed, and I never see my, my mother never goes to bed during the day. That is a huge red flag unless she's in a hospital. So that turned into quite the ordeal. Um, I called, and... Um, they said she wouldn't get up, she wouldn't really tell them what was wrong, so if she was tired, they finally got out of her that her back was hurting. I have a feeling it might have been from the fall a couple of days before, but she seemed to be fine Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, so I was really worried if we were even going to get to celebrate her birthday, but um, by some miracle, she rebounded. <laughs> and she ended up taking some Tylenol, got up and went to dinner, and the next day she was back to her baseline normal. So... Um, what a roller coaster that woman is. Seriously, she's gonna kill me, I think, first. I mean, just from the worry, but we were able to celebrate. It was um, a wonderful time with her. It was great to be able to celebrate a milestone, that milestone with her. But at the same time, I'm also grieving, you know, the loss of the life that I wish she could have had. So it was kind of bittersweet in a way. But I am really just trying to, you know, create those moments of joy, just like that book says by um, Jolene Bradley, I think it is, but I'll hook it up. Um, I'll link it up for you guys. But, um, you know, that's what we tried to do. We just tried to make the best of the situation. Um, and we did end up having a good time. So um, check that out. So and then in the meantime, with my health, i um, still trying to figure out what's going on with my hand today terrible braces on um i ended up going to get a blood work whole bunch of blood work from the functional medicine doctor i was on the phone with the insurance company for hours trying to find out a price um so frustrating i ended up um finally getting a price which i hope is right which is still high um probably it's going to be around 250 dollars which is money that i really don't have right now but i'm gonna have to figure it out because i've got to try and find some answers um, you know, navigating our healthcare system is, you know, it's freaking hard. What a freaking joke. You pay all that money for healthcare and then you still are paying tons of money just to try and find answers. So say a prayer that, you know, I can get some answers from that blood work and figure out what's going on. Um, also had two migraines this week, so that's not good. Um, um, then number four, Etsy things are dead again. Uh, that doesn't help anything, especially when I need to pay for, you know, all these tests. Um, it's making me very depressed. Um, you know, just I don't even know what to do at this point. 
Um, in the meantime, I did get um, a new light from Shop Canvas Co. So that's been great. I really love it. I did a video on Wednesday for coloring and I also did one yesterday for kale. Um, it's for um, Purely Elizabeth's granola and I had it all done, ready to post, and then they took the challenge down. And I was so upset, I swear to God I was crying. So <laughs> anyways, um, I checked again this morning and thankfully it's back up. I claimed the challenge, so I'm gonna post that tomorrow. So keep a lookout for that. Um, and then let's just end with prayer. It has been, of course, a very difficult week for the people in Florida. My heart goes out to everyone down there that was affected by the hurricanes. I've been praying for you guys. Um, I wish I was there that I could be some help. I, I know, thankfully, the people I know in Florida seem to be good. So I'm happy about that. But my heart goes out to everyone down there that was affected. Um, also, it is day um 371 hostages are still in gaza the war still continues to go on it keeps expanding in the middle east it's just horrible the whole thing um please just pray for peace pray pray we can figure something out get those hostages home get this get an end to all of this suffering for these innocent people that are caught in this crossfire um also um you know let's please keep some people in prayer um, my friend Josh, of course, he's still trying to heal from what's from his surgery and what's going on. My friend Julie from her surgery for her shoulder, um, Liz and her husband Andrew on Instagram, he's cancer. Um, Tom from the church, he also has cancer. Um, my friend Rada, who's going through some health issues, unexplained health stuff, hopefully she can get some answers. Um, and a friend and somebody on Instagram, um, Mary Lou, she's um, actually a mother of somebody I follow. She just had a second round of surgery for bladder cancer and she was not doing well, so pray for healing for her. Um, also, there's somebody that I follow, well, I don't follow, that I watch on YouTube. Um, there's a family in Utah, um, it's called This Is How We Bing Them. There's a whole family, the whole family, Some a lot of them do um, YouTube vlogs. I followed them for years and years and years. There was a horrible tragedy um, last Saturday. One of the family members who was vlogging for a while, uh, Justin Bingham, he fell to his death in Zion. I don't know if you guys have heard about it, 200 feet, um, just horrific. I mean, just what a tragedy. I mean, what a amazing guy. He was only 40, he was gonna be 41 on my mother's birthday. They shared the same birthday. He leaves behind a family, um, his, uh, his wonderful wife and four kids, one who has cerebral palsy. Um, their channel is called, is called Life in Holland. And they always talked about, you know, why they call it Life in Holland, that, you know, you go to Holland and things are, you know lovely and wonderful there but you don't always get that in your life you know and that you try have to try and you know find that in your life and it's just they're just so inspiring that family i i just you know my heart breaks for all of them so please keep them in your prayers um i also saw somebody on gma this morning you know who was talking about all these bad things that are happening and with the hurricane and everything when our faith is tested you know and that we still have to listen to god you know, and just hear him, you know, has he, he, you know, we have to hear him still, you know, that he's still there. So anyways, um, you know, of course, you know, just say a prayer You keep everybody in your prayers. Just, you know, just try and be kind. Don't just remember, you know, you can still be kind. You can still be there and anything small you can do to help someone is, you know, is helpful. So anyways, just want to end with the prayer of the re pair of the week from the Sunday paper, uh, Maria Shriver. Dear God, grant us the wisdom to be intentional in our thoughts, actions, and relationships, seeking unity and understanding in a world often divided. Help remind us that our lives are interconnected, even when we live worlds apart from one another. Amen. Um, and if you guys are in need of prayer, please let me know. Also, please um, say a prayer for my friend Marcia's um, dogs, Daisy and Bandit. They're going through some health issues. So if you guys are in need of prayer, please don't hesitate. Reach out. Let me know. I will put you on the list. Uh, I believe in prayer. Also, this um, tonight start is the start of Yom Kippur. So if you guys are fasting, I wish you guys an easy fast. And I hope you have a good weekend and Shabbat Shalom.